Why are these animals getting the red carpet treatment? Let's find out. Welcome to Then vs Now, where we look at how technology is reshaping wildlife conservation. Researchers are using a 3D scanning technique to capture images of new and rare species. But why? Let's say a scientist spots a rare frog on a research expedition. In the past, they would capture, euthanize and take the animal to a lab to study it. A lot like these specimens that you might remember from your science class. But what if the animal is endangered? What if you're removing the last remaining individuals of that species? Now, with this technique, studying a species can be a lot less invasive. Researchers can capture the animal, put it literally in the spotlight and set it free. This organization used the technology in these countries to capture digital specimens of 12 species. Unlike physical samples, digital ones also don't degrade over time. But there are drawbacks. These digital specimens don't allow scientists to study the insides of an animal or study its skin or eyes up close. But it is an efficient way to document the existence of species in their immediate environments. Plus this way, they also get a taste of the high-flying celeb life. 